Hey guys, welcome to Atari 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series, Venom or Munster Venom Wave Spider Ham, and uh, this is really cool. We have the Spider Man logo down here in place of the Venom logo. We have Spider Ham. Love this packaging style. The Legend series. Nice, clear view of the character and box. We also have a Spider Man symbol up here, which is similar to the Spider Man weight boxes, as this is a Spider Man character, not a Venom character. So that's pretty cool. We got some pretty neat artwork on the sides of that. On the back, we have this really cool picture, a bio, and we have the the other characters available and a look at Monster Venom. So yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have Spider-Ham, and uh, as you can see, this is a bit smaller than your typical 6-inch Marvel Legends, but in the comic books, this character is smaller, so that's the reason why. He's kind of in scale with Rocket Raccoon. I actually think he's a little bit bigger than Rocket Raccoon, but he's kind of around that same height, and uh, just to show off a comparison really quickly... Here's him with my Volume 2 rocket. Uh, I accidentally broke the leg off this one. I'm meaning to fix that, but uh, as you can see, they're around the same height. But this one is a little bit bigger. Uh, but this is actually pretty cool. I like the detailing on the suit. I like the bright red and blue that they used for this. It looks really cool. It's got some web detailings that go all around it, like on the mask and the arms and the body. It's pretty neat. I like the eyes, they're cool. The ears are cool. And I also like the little nose here. It has the spider eyes and kind of like symbol. It looks pretty cool. And then uh, down here we have the spider symbol as well. I guess more of like the emblem, but yeah, pretty neat, pretty cool. In this hand, you can see he's kind of like shooting a web, and in this hand, he has, whoops, more of an open pose. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of it's just more of red and blue, pretty neat, though. In terms of articulation, you got a 360 at the head, you can look up and down, you got a 360 at the arms, they swing out the shoulder, bendability at the elbow, but it is really stiff, and that's actually how I ended up breaking this rocket raccoon, because the leg was really stiff here, and the knee, and I ended up forcing it, and it popped off, so I'm uh, not going to try to do that, but yeah, just a little bit of a warning, be careful with these smaller joints, because they can pop off, but there's a 360 there, and there's a 360 at the wrist, and then there's kind of like an ab crunch, it's kind of a weird but cool joint, you can rotate it 360, and you can look up and down, and go sideways with it pretty cool there is no feet articulation except for the boots there's a 360 there but yeah pretty cool in terms of articulation there's not a lot because he's smaller but I do think they did a good job for what they did and it does look pretty cool and you know spider ham he's a fan favorite to a lot of characters so it's really nice to finally add this to the collection um, and uh, yeah just really cool now you do get an accessory here and that accessory is an alternative pork grind head. I believe that's the name of this character. And it's supposed to be, I guess, like a venomized version, Spider-Man, or Spider-Ham's Venom. And it looks really cool. I love the detailing on the head. I like how the teeth is here and the eyes. It just looks so angry. They, like, made this eye kind of, like, smaller than this one. So it kind of is more of an angry position. It looks cool. And also, like, the spider kind of thing they did there. Pretty neat. And what you can do with this is... You take the Venom figure from this wave, pop off his head, and put Pork Grind on that. So you can kind of have like two figures, and I think that's pretty cool. You know, they released a Venom figure in this wave, and they also made a Pork Grind head that you can put on to that Venom figure to kind of have the character from the comics. And it's honestly pretty amazing. It was a genius idea for them, I think. Um, you know, I don't think we've ever had kind of like an alternate head that's went to a different character in the wave before, and I just think that's pretty cool. You know, aside from build a figures so it's kind of nice that they included this I don't think I'll have this head on all the time but I think it's a really fun thing they did kind of give you spider ham and his greatest enemy I guess and uh, yeah it's pretty cool thank you for watching please rate like and subscribe